prudent. Prudent, somebody who's careful and cautious and kind of wisely cautious. But when we take off that, a prude, yeah, as Lita, you found the definition there, didn't you? Someone who's... What is it? A person easily struck by rude things, yeah. especially those of sexual. That's right, yeah. Uh, shocked, easily shocked. Uh, a lot of these people at the party are not easily shocked. They're part of the permissive society. But the two that I mentioned, Simon and Jody, they're these more upper class people come to the party and they're, they're very easily shocked. They're, and they get called prudes. <laughs> it's the source of a lot of the conflict and a lot of the comedy in the, in the play. Not, not anxious uh, in sexual behaviours? Yeah, that too. It's kind of linked. Yeah. Bloody uncouth. Uncouth, rude. Rough and rude. Bloody, just the great Australian Adjective, Bloody. adverb really. <laughs> People say the great Australian adjective is not. It's a great Australian adverb because you put it in front of an adverb, in front of an adjective, don't you? To intensify it, it just means very, very, very bloody. But if you say it, as I said, to an American, they'll start looking for cuts and blood on the floor and ring the ambulance you know, because because it means blood, literally. Yeah. Uh, we'll do the next few tomorrow, that's enough. Too many to absorb. Yeah. Blood, keep blood keep looking back on it, he's reading. Sorry? Bloody, bloody doesn't seem like a bad word. It's just like, it, it's not referring to um, blood, it's referring to, it's like an expression, right? For example, um, yes. um, um, say, we're, we're, we're bloody going to have a good time or something like that. Yeah. It, it means, you said it's an expression means that it's like we're gonna have an awesome day, just like that, right? Yes, however, yeah, it doesn't sound bad, does it? But yes. if you say it, we have to look at the history of the word. Where does bloody come from? Where, where does this word bloody come from? And why is it sort of uh, swearing? Guys, have a listen. The origin of bloody is a very common word. If someone says, oh, Jesus, or by God, you know, oh, God, now that doesn't sound too bad these days, unless you're a really strict Christian. Um, as I've said, in Australia, lot, lots of people aren't. If you say these things in America, you're more likely to cause a bit of offence, because it's more religious, but here, not. Uh, and go back 200 years, 300 years, people are more religious. This was offensive. And there is, I think it's still on the books in law, it's called blasphemy. Certainly that term still exists. And you could go to prison and you could be you know, punished by law for blasphemy. It was like a crime. To use religious words in a negative, insulting, angry kind of way. So there are lots of express expressions, you know, Jesus Christ, etc., etc. Okay, now, when you say, oh, by God, you know, here's another one. By Our Lady. Who's Our Lady? Uh, that's a good guess. The Queen. <laughs> but but, but think, think not in political terms, religious terms. In Christianity, who is Our Lady? Mary. 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 Yeah. So you're sort of swearing by Mother of Christ, Mary. Okay? By our lady, by our lady, say it, say it really fast. By our lady, by our lady, by our lady, you end up with. Okay. It, it compacts. Over, over the centuries, right, it, it gets shorter and faster. You drop something on your toe, yeah, drop 20 kilograms on your toe, and see how fast you say that. It'll come out like that, right? <laughs> And that's the origin, of supposedly, and that's why it's disapproved of. <coughs> and as you, you know, it actually has nothing to do with blood. And yeah, the word, the idea of bloody, with blood, why would that be offensive? This is the reason it's offensive, because it's ultimately come from a, a bit of blasphemy. There was a lot, in the 19th, 18th and 19th century, there's a lot of shortening and comp 
compacting of lots of words uh, in English, and, and this is just one. All right, well, I hope that's of interest to you, and, and it will be of use when we come to watch the film. So keep, you know, sit on the bus going around and just review these and try to get them into your memory, because probably next week when we start to watch it, you're going to hear these expressions, so that will help you. Then we can even have, have the list out, and as we hear it, we'll kind of tick them off. And maybe every 20 minutes we'll stop the film and check. You know, did you hear it? Who said it? What do you think they were meaning in this context, etc. Because what I want to do is go through this one film like this, and of course that's all we're going to have time to do. But what I want to do it again, like most things we've done in the course, just to demonstrate a strategy with a resource. Because you, we've talked already about getting DVDs of films and finding screenplays or putting subtitles on, you know, grabbing the slang out of it and doing this kind of work. And uh, it's kind of a fun way. And uh, if you spread it out over a couple of weeks, do a film every couple of weeks, you'll get so much slang. I think you'll start to feel much more comfortable in, in spoken circumstances. And you'll probably get, you know, a significantly, I mean, over time, you find yourself getting more and more jokes and so on and so forth, because obviously humor is slang pretty, pretty close to me. And just think how you'd be able to insult people. You have this beautiful menu. You'd be able to, <laughs> you'd be able to shoot anyone. Or you'd be able to know if they're shooting you. And is it a big gun or just a little one? You know, how, how strong will they be? And they might even be being nice, because a lot of this stuff, bloody, you know, you can use positively, can't you? Oh, that was a bloody excellent football bloody match, good. or bloody good, yeah. Um, and all of, most of those words you can use positively, many of them you can use positively. Uh, all right, let's do, well, I'll hand back your writing on art exhibition. Might as well turn that off for the moment.